I'm looking for, you know, I'd like to have a Model A or something like that, two-door sedan, preferably, but not ten thousand dollars. I got a really nice frame over in Dead over in Dead Eyes Woods. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna build the frame. I've got yeah. a front axle. I got a rear axle. I got mm -hmm. all the uh, the wishbones and all that stuff. I got some wheels, tires, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I need a body. Mm -hmm. I'd probably build another frame like that because I need that extra height. Mm -hmm. You take, you know how like your car they channel up. Oh yeah. I can't do that. I couldn't fit. In. Yeah. You know? I need every inch of space I can get to get in yeah. and things, you know. Yeah, you do. So I just build the frame, and you know, I got a couple hundred bucks in that frame. That's right. great too. That's the same thing Mike said. He said he cashed in his beer cans and bought the metal to build his frame out of. <laughs> yeah. And he was he was all about I ought to you know pull mine off of what it's sitting on and put it on. Well, I mean, yours works the frame. way it is, and you're happy with the way it well, ride in it. You know, the thing about it is, I actually like the old. I just like the idea of the old box frame. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's okay for me to drive because. Yep. I'm kind of laying down in the seat, but it's okay. Yeah. But um, I can see the, the, the advantage of going both ways, but for what I've got. Um, I would never change your car around just because if you want to change it around, build another one. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And you can see, you know, that the way that frame sticks out and, and it's part of the car. Yeah. You know, when I was growing up, that's what that's what they look like. Yeah. And, and, and I like that look. I like that suicide front end. Uh, it, it's not a early Ford, you know, 32 Ford type frame, but it's, it, it has that same kind of look to it, you know, and, uh, and I like that a lot, so. And I agree with you, if I wanted to build another one, I'd build another one. Right, if you were gonna change it all over, you just build yeah. another car. Exactly. Just, you know. And that's got its own little perks and its own little things about it that are cool, and that's why you, uh, you know, yeah. that's why you have it. Yeah. I've had a few people make suggestions. Oh, you should have done this. Should have had a V8. You should have done that. Eh. Well, I, I, I that, was, I'll make another one. When I was building, I was thinking one of these days I'm gonna pull this body off, put a sedan body on there. But now that it's built, it's like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I sort of thought I would wind up. I did sort of think I'd wind up not using that body, but then when I got it on there, I kind of like you. I kind of like an A model. Yeah. And I always wanted an A model, but. They got their advantages and disadvantages too, but they're very cool. My, there's one rolled in up at Al's head yesterday and and it was a, a model that somebody had freshened all up and had a v8 in it but it looked it looked like a stock car but it was all modern and pretty blue and my wife said Ooh, what's that and I said, it's an a model i said it's, it's one of those and i pointed to a real a model and she's like oh man i see that you know <laughs> yeah i'm not necessarily uh stuck with getting trying to find a forward i'd take just about any brand as long as it was that style yeah boxy that boxy scene, style square, yeah what i call the square years you know yeah basically uh, 35 and older you know the, all the square stuff uh, that's what i'd like to find and big enough if i i figured if i got a sedan i could move the seats and stuff back far enough so i'd have all yeah. kinds of leg room and and i wouldn't have to worry about engine setback or any of that i mean one of the one of the one of the problems that i came across with this rig right here was using an inline six cylinder the motor's too long right so to get everything the way I wanted it, they had to set the engine back quite a ways. As you can see, when you look inside, it's back into the yeah. compartment quite a ways, you know? Mm -hmm. So that kind of made some issues, you know? Yeah. I had all the time with that brake system too, getting the pedal so that you could set in there with your feet where they need to be yeah. and be able to pick your foot up and push the pedal and everything. Yeah. I mean, I bought that aftermarket system thinking, well, shoot, I'll just bolt this thing right in here and it'll be all done. Well, yeah. I might as well have just made it. Right. Time I cut that all out and moved everything around, you know. It does limit your feet space there with that, that channel right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it looks cool. <laughs> I hope the thing, uh, I hope it turns out well as far as driving it. I've driven it only probably a half a mile down the road and back. And it goes good. I mean, it's quiet, smooth, the steel yeah. good. Yeah. You know, it stops. I mean, I don't know what else to ask for, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, it does rattle some, but yeah. I expect it probably would. It always surprised me how good the one I got rides. I mean, it doesn't ride great, but you know, it steers good and it rides it rides pretty good. I mean, you, you think about it, you're just riding on a couple of rails and. Yeah. And But it does pretty good for what it is. The fun factor is there. Well, even if you're going 20 miles an hour, the fun factor's still yeah. there. <laughs> the coolest thing about that was just sitting in there with that great big steering wheel. Yeah. And the roof is low, and you know, you're looking across the hood, you can see the tires going up and down in the front. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I don't care if I was doing 50 miles an hour yeah. or 5 miles an hour. Yeah. Just, just having that right there was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of like the picture. You know, you always see a picture of some guy in there 
and you can't even see him, but he's got this big, big arm hanging out the window, you know? Yep. That would be you in yep. there with your big arm hanging out the window, you know? Stick your arm out and touch the ground. In fact, he did that one day. We were in, we were in mine. And he was sitting in it and he stuck his arm out. And wait, 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 let me get the camera. Do that again. <laughs> I said, let me get that picture. That looks cool. You know? <laughs> yeah. 